Hey everybody and welcome back to Cityscape Brewing. I'm Dennis Fields and today we're going to be talking about a super fun event that I just got done participating in called Beer and Branding. So are you wondering how we did? Well, stay tuned and you're going to find out. Hit that like and subscribe button, grab yourself a beer, and we're going to get after it. So this Beer and Branding event is held at Noda Brewing in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so you may have heard me talk about this a little bit on my channel before. I had participated in last year, and this year we brewed a beer that was a maple pecan brown ale, where the maple syrup was the secret ingredient. And what they do is they bring in a bunch of different home brewers, and you can't be a, a professional brewer, you have to be at like the homebrew level scale, right? So they bring in a whole bunch of local home brewers from different clubs. There's probably about 25 to 30 brewers, I would say, at this event, and they all have to use that secret ingredient of maple syrup in their beer. So at their kickoff meeting, we were paired up with a design professional, so is every other team, and they come up with a design for your beer, right? So we describe the type and flavor and uh, style of beer that we're going for. They come up with a creative design and a creative name, and that is compared to all the other designs at this event. So our team consisted of myself, my friends Adam and Amanda, who we brewed that beer together in my previous video. I'll put that link in the video description below. We also got paired up with the design professionals, Danielle and Bridget, and they did a fantastic job. So we came up with this roasted pecan uh, maple brown ale, and I think it was really a hit. So at the event, they have essentially four categories, right? They have the brewer's choice, which is Noda Brewing will pick a beer that they like the best and they think is closest to that particular style that the brewer had chosen based on BJCP guidelines. They also have a branding professional picks out the branding winner based on their marketing skills and expertise. But then they invite in a whole bunch of other people, just regular folks off the street that like craft beer, and they have them go through and sample all the beers and vote for them at the end. And so there's a people's choice of those people in the room. Uh, you know, I think there's probably a little over 100 people there last night, so it was a very fun event. And everybody gets to vote on which beers and which branding items they thought were the best. So each of the brewers had a table set up where they would have people come by and sample all of their beers. And then all of the branding professionals had a table where they could showcase all of their branding materials. They, some had stickers and coasters and six packs and t-shirts and you name it, they had it there. It's crazy to see the different ideas that the branding folks come up with because they're way more creative than I could ever be. And uh, I thought the design that they had made for each of these beers was fantastic. It would have been hard to just pick one favorite. Um, and so they gave people a choice to rank their top three. There were you know, pumpkin beers, there were other brown ales, there were amber ales, there was a rice beer, uh, there was a uh, pale ale, there's even a Hefeweizen, all using maple syrup in some fashion. And so I thought all the brewers did a really good job. I tasted several very, very delicious beers and it was gonna be uh, you know, a hard one to win out. Same with the branding professionals. They all had a very, very good design. I thought it was very creative and uh, they're way more talented in that area than I am by far. Glad I was just in charge of, uh, of, of doing the beer with my friends, Adam and Amanda. So before we get into whether we won or not, or won a prize at all, let's go ahead and do a quick little beer review, right? And so this is kind of uh, the color and everything we were going for, this kind of roastier, darker uh, brown ale color. And it has that maple syrup that has to be used in it. And we used about, you know, a couple of pounds or so of roasted pecans. So go ahead and check that video out. I'll have that in the link description below. So first thing first, when people were coming up and they were smelling it, myself included, you pick up on a little bit of that sweetness, but you also get kind of that roasty pecan flavor uh, that we were kind of going for. So we wanted it to be not all just sweet, um, you know, with the maple syrup, because we knew that was going to have to be added, but we wanted to really kind of contrast that with the roasted uh, and kind of biscuity flavored malts that we used in there, and then the roasted pecans. And so in this case, um, it kind of helps balance out those two flavors. So the first thing I would describe is the kind of thicker mouthfeel that you get uh, with the beer. And that's because we used a lot of Maris Otter and Victory malts that have that kind of biscuitier, more pancake flavor to them. We also used a hint of chocolate malt just to give it a little bit more of that darker color, but also have a little bit of that sweetness in the back to help complement that maple syrup that we were using. And so in this case, uh, you get all of those flavors, kind of the, the thicker mouthfeel from those fuller bodied malts. You get a little bit of the sweetness from the chocolate. 
And then you pick up the kind of roasted pecans and then the finish with the maple syrup at the end. And so I think it all really kind of plays well together and it's really smooth. We didn't add but very, uh, one uh, addition of hops, I believe, at 60 minutes and it was a very small amount on purpose. We didn't want this beer to be bitter at all. It's a brown ale, it should be smooth. It should be uh, uh, highlighting all of those other flavors in the malts, in the pecans and in the maple syrup rather than kind of hiding that behind some bitterness. But what did everybody else think? That's the most important. So you get a little bit of feedback, which is great from the general public as they come around your table. We had a lot of people that come back and say, we think your beer is the best one out of all of these. And we had a lot of people come back, tell their friends about it, and then they'd come back together, try that beer again. You knew that they were actually being genuine about it. So that's the fun thing about this event too, because it's just random people, not really beer experts, that was giving you genuine feedback about the flavors and how they would actually perceive this beer. Would they buy it at the, at the brewery that we were at, really? So at the end of the day, they tallied up all the votes and they started selecting the winners. So how did we come out? So we're happy to announce that the beer came in number one as the people's choice for the 2023 Beer and Branding Beer. We couldn't have been more stoked when we got announced that we were amongst all of the other great beers that were there, where ours came in at number one based on all of the people that tried and voted at that location. Huge thank you to Noda Brewing and everybody for putting on that event. Uh, this is a big deal. Huge shout out to Amanda and Adam that helped me brew this beer. And we know that we were in you know, tough competition with the other beers that were there because they were fantastic. We also got second runner up for the brewer's choice. And in comparison to all those other beers, we couldn't be happier uh, also to have been selected as second runner up uh, as well. For the branding professionals, uh, Danielle and Bridget did a fantastic job. They named this beer uh, Critter Riot. They had some really cool stickers. They had some uh, coasters that were there. I obviously stole a couple of swag for myself to bring home and remember this event, because that's really fun. So as people came by and they were tasting our beer, they were telling us how much they actually enjoyed the uh, design too, which was really, really cool. They both got first runner up in both the categories for people's choice and the branding choice. And so a uh, huge shout out, they were a smidge close to winning absolutely both of those. So huge congratulations to them, that's a huge deal. I mean, that was uh, second place basically in both categories. And so uh, we, we all did well as a whole, the beer did well, the branding did well, and it was a fun night really had by all. With that, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Happy brewing and cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. A way you can support the channel is just by buying me a beer. There's a button right there on the screen and there's a link in the video description below. You can also check out the Merchandise Center store and you can hit the video on the screen right now. You know you want to.